Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official Surrender at 20 weekly recap. My name's Panzer and today I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite stories from SurrenderAt20.net for the 2014 season week 2. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do remember to rate it thumbs up. Now through February 11th, you can celebrate Lunar Revel with skins, ward skins, and summoner icons. Until the end of the event, you can snag Dragonblade Riven for 1350 RP, or Warring Kingdoms Trindamir for 975 RP. Lunar Goddess Diana is also available for 975 RP. But she is a permanent addition to the shop and will be up for grabs long after Lunar Revel passes. There are also some ward skins which are free to use until the end of Lunar Revel. The Gong, the Banner of the Horse, the Banner of the Serpent, and the Lantern of the Serpent. If you'd like to add these ward skins to your permanent collection, you can purchase them for 640 RP each. And of course, there will also be summoner icons to celebrate the in-game event. Just by winning a match-made game during Lunar Revel, you will be rewarded with the Year of the Horse summoner icon. Playing at least two match-made games on the Howling Abyss with at least one friend in your party will earn you the icon of Dragonblade Riven. To collect the icon of Lunar Goddess Diana, you and a friend have to party up and play two match-made games on either the Twisted Tree Line or the Crystal Scar. And of course, if you play two match-made games with at least one friend in your group, you will earn the icon of Warring Kingdoms Trindamir. There's also one more icon which everybody will get once Lunar Revel is over. Right now, you can log into LeagueOfLegends.com, visit the Lunar Revel promo site, and vote for your favorite icon. At the end of the event, the icon with the most votes will be distributed to all players who were active in the past 90 days. Votes are tallied and icons are distributed regionally. There are also some flexible cost bundles available during Lunar Rebel. Check out the store for more information on how much each one will cost you and what is included. And last but not least, in the Lunar Revel department, mystery gifting has returned. Well, at least until February 11th. Although, we found out on Reddit this week from Riot Hippolyst that Riot is seriously toying with the idea of making mystery gifting a permanent feature. Apparently, the only thing really stopping them from doing so is if, say, everybody decides during Lunar Revel that they totally hate mystery gifting and that they don't want it anymore, which is pretty unlikely. So, yeah, that's a thing. And here we are once again, that time in the video where I warn you that all the information left is from the public beta environment. Content from the PBE is highly tentative, it is subject to change, and it could be completely erroneous. So just keep all that in mind and don't shoot the messenger. To celebrate Valentine's Day, Riot will soon be implementing a new ward skin, the Bouquet Ward, complete with kissy sounds. Once it goes live, it is expected to set back fire 640 RP. Also to celebrate Valentine's Day 2014 is Heartseeker Ash. Faster than my arrow? I think not. On the beta, Heartseeker Ash is currently priced at 975 RP, which is more than fair considering all of the fancy particles and whatnot, although it is worth noting that since it is still in its testing phase, Heartseeker Ash could have its particles, its effects, or even its price change before it goes to live servers, although I will be buying it regardless because right now I own all of the Ash skins and I would be super irritated if that changed, so I'm going to buy it. But what about you? Will you be purchasing Heartseeker Ash? Let me know in the comments section below. And while you think about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question.
And thank you so much for tuning in to the Surrender at 20 weekly recap. My name is Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you thumb it up, answer our question in the comment section below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. I also did just want to do a quick little shameless plug. I do a show every Friday called Riot Please where I show like three to five skin ideas that are all within the same theme. This week was like Valentine's Day, Heart Seeker theme, so if you wanted to check that out, I'll have it linked in the info below. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about anything else I talked about today, that is also linked in the info below. And make sure you check back next Sunday and every Sunday for future Surrender at 20 weekly recaps, even though this one is a little bit late because it's Super Bowl Sunday, so I didn't want to put it up like in the morning and then have nobody watch it. If you're, if you're watching it, it's probably not Sunday anymore, but go whatever sports team wins. Yay. Anyways, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a great week. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Bye. This hair is accidental. I know that a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, I love your hair, but it really looks jacked up in person. It kind of doesn't look bad from the front, but check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not stylish at all. So if you're wondering, I'm in the process of changing my hair from pink to like my natural color, which is like light brown, dirty blonde kind of, because I'm sick of dyeing it. It's just like way too much work and it's not worth it. So that's what's going on with this disaster on my head in case you were wondering. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. Bye.